Andrew Jim Lifestyle, welcome back to another vlog. Today I want to talk about what I went through yesterday. I met up with a buddy. And it, as you can tell, he has a clothing brand, which I'm more, I'm rocking right now, called Spiffy. Basically what it does is he creates urban apparel, which is really dope. And yeah, we were sitting down just talking about marketing, talking about things that he should do for his brand to get the word out. So I'm just going to reiterate that to you guys if you had a clothing brand or if you ever wanted to start one what to expect and how to react to it what he's gone through and what many other people starting companies go through is the first initial phase is like the hype phase like when he opened his clothing line he got a bunch of people messaging him dming him just trying to buy the clothes because it was just like a hype it was like omg it's a new brand And it was a new brand, so it was something new, so everybody was just like hyped about it. But not to my surprise, not to his surprise, the hype kind of went down, and now he's at a stagnant phase where it's not as big as you as where he wants it to be right now. So what you gotta do with that phase is really like key in on your marketing techniques. And it's not always about just paying for ads and um, spending a shit ton of money on marketing right away. Cause like my dad's company, he's been running it for eight years hasn't spent a dime on marketing which is a huge mistake but um, it's still making a lot of money so you don't have to spend money on marketing what you could do is what he's doing is he's driving around like all the time just dropping off shirts with uh, his friends with family with anybody who has interest in the brand he's just dropping it off because he's trying to get the word out and it might seem like it costs money at first and it does but it's the long-term goal that you're looking for you're not looking for immediate just profit million, million dollars like overnight you're looking for continuous growth over in the next couple of years so you got to be willing to just distribute your clothes to different people specifically influencers you want to target um, Instagram influencers and I say it in like all my videos because it's a real it's a real profitable um, like business outline like if you could get your shirt it might take a hundred DMs to uh, get someone's attention but if you could get your shirt to someone who has like 10, 20, 100,000 followers on Instagram to wear it and actually post it and tag your Instagram in it, then that's like free exposure. That's like free exposure to 100,000 people who might be interested in your clothing line for, well, at $5 it costs to make a shirt. So you just got to be willing to dis distribute your shit like just immediately and not worry about profit margin.